Woo! All right, we're today back on another video. Um, let's take a sip of coffee real quick. Very good, very strong. Uh, we need it. Um, anyways, so basically in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and add a uh, animation or any type of object animation with a transparent background. So basically a PNG into your um, screens. So per se, right now I have this logo right here on my left um, spinning um, in a loop. Um, so let's just let's get into it. We're gonna be using uh, Blender and uh, Blender and Adobe Premiere. Um, so over here, I already have my object. Uh, really quick, I want to show you guys how you could animate this. Um, I have videos of this uh, before, but it's very quick and easy and simple. Um, so all you want to do is once you have your object, uh, you want to right click set origin to geometry, so that when you do R Z to to you know spin it it spins right in the middle uh, once you have that you want to go to make sure you're on number one and on your timeline let's end this at a hundred frames we don't need more than that um we're gonna go ahead and make go make sure to go to object properties um add a uh a frame on the uh rotation uh z or z and uh let's go to the last frame by right clicking or clicking on this um jump to the end point and we're gonna right click on the right arrow um, to go to frame 101. And uh, once you once you have that, just insert 360 on the rotation Z and make sure to input that um, frame or uh, yeah, that, that frame. So basically when you hit space bar, um, you'll have something like this and it's just gonna go ahead and keep starting all over again by itself. So as you can see right now, it's just a non-stop spinning loop 360 rotation of my logo so with this being done uh what we're gonna go ahead is we're gonna go, go ahead and add a quick material so of course use nodes base color we're gonna keep it a white we're just gonna do a chrome metallic roughness uh do 0.1 uh let's go to render viewport we're gonna add a quick um hdri so color yellow dot environment texture and uh we're gonna open up I already have one. If you don't have one, just go to Google, search up free HDRIs, and you'll you'll find a website where you could download one of these for free. And um, I think for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here. Of course, we don't want the background. So on render properties, you wanna go ahead and bring this film, tap down and uh, check in the transparent tap. And uh, you, should be, you should be fine with that. You could either go with Eevee. If you do Eevee, make sure to check these, ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space, and motion blur um now if you want to go with uh cycles it'll also give you more of a realistic look but i don't think that we need that for this type of animation so we're gonna go ahead and stick with eevee since we'll have a faster um render now that we have this of course we're gonna be needing a camera so shift a to add a camera really quick zero to go into camera view and to open up this tab on this side over here go to view camera to view check that in right there and you'll be able to zoom out now just like this and let's just position this right in front of our logo um i would say somewhere around there should work for me um let's go ahead even smaller and uh i think this is pretty cool i think this works all right so again space bar and you'll have this animation make sure that your object isn't going out of your camera uh because then you're not gonna it's it's not gonna look all right so once you have this, um, we're going to go to output properties really quick. Um, we're going to keep it at PNG RGBA. Make sure you have RGBA selected. If you don't have RGBA selected, it's just not going to work. So, uh, of course, we're going to go ahead and go to your file folders and search up for a folder. Or what I would just suggest you to do is make a new folder because basically what Blender is going to do is it's going to export all these this all these um, frames into individual images um into your your um files and so if you want to be a bit more organized again i would recommend you to go ahead and name this add a new folder and name it uh i don't know cos logo animation transparent tutorial and uh once you have that double click on it and now you want to name this cos transparent animation tutorial 
and so once you have this all you want to do is accept and um everything else is good you don't need more than that um so once you have that all you want to do is of course render render animation or control um f12 and you'll have your animation rendering just like this in your um blender now this might take a couple seconds so in the meantime i just wanted to let you know if you haven't followed me on instagram make sure you do is cosmic co art um on tiktok as well cosmic co art i do upload a whole lot more over there and that's actually where i started um uploading content so i do have a bit more of a following uh i actually post a lot of uh client work over there um and yeah so this is about to be done um and uh voila it finished so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up really quick um adobe premiere pro which is this one right here and um that's probably gonna take a couple seconds my computer has been slow lately i do think i need an upgrade so that's probably coming soon yep it took a while so new project let's name this uh uh transparent animation tutorial i don't know i probably spelled all that wrong uh click on create really quick and um once we have this tab opened up like this all you want to do is double click on your on on your um project over here and it's basically going to import we're going to import our images as you can see i did this here for a uh, client i have all these images they basically make up a 360 animation that essentially i was able to um loop it so let's search up for our cause logo animation i don't know i kind of forgot what i named the file i'm not gonna lie i believe it was this one right here so basically this is basically the animation right here so all you want to do is click on the first one go all the way to the end shift click on that last one and open them up and so basically it'll open up all these images on your um adobe premiere and uh, once you what you want to do now is go to list view and make sure you go by the name so once you have that all you want to do is click on this very first one on top shift click on that last one and you want to just go ahead and drag them into your timeline now once you have this make this right here longer so that you can see all your images or frames and you want to just click drag your blue uh, marker across all your images just so that you could actually see that it's in order because sometimes what adobe premiere might do is it might insert these frames in different order so you'll have your animation skipping from one one end to another and it looks a little bit uh glitchy or or, or you know weird so just make sure that when you click and drag it it actually looks like it's just spinning by itself without a problem once you have that of course what you want to do is as you can see if we do click play it's going to take a while for one frame to go into another and so that won't work so what you would do is you right click while selecting all of them right click speed duration bring this all the way down and make sure you have ripple edit shift thing trailing clips checked in <laughs> and click okay and um, once you have this you could go all the way to the left bring this um scroller uh make it make it smaller just like that so you can see all your animation or frames and when you click on that space bar you'll you'll have your animation like that spinning without a problem once you have this we're gonna go ahead and merge all these um clips or frames into just one clip and to do that all you want to do is right click nest and we're gonna go ahead and call this cos logo animation and click uh, enter and then you'll have just one clip just like that now this could be again your watermark for your videos or whatever you might want to use it for so what you want to do is you want to export this from adobe premiere into just your files as the transparent background so that whenever you want to record videos or any type of content uh you can go ahead and add this into your content without a problem at any time so to do that all you want to do is while selecting uh your timeline and your clip control m and this is going to go ahead and export this now on the format all you want to do is click on that drop down and you want to go to quicktime what quicktime is going to do for you is if you click this drop down video right here um and click more you should be able to have the rgba plus alpha selected and so what that's going to do what alpha basically means is it's going to export it with a transparent background that's why we're going to export it as a quicktime 
so basically once you have this um of course give it a name so cost let's let's put cost logo transparent animation so basically we'll have that of course select the uh, a file or like a destination or location whatever save it and um you're gonna go ahead and export it really quick and so it's just it, it takes a couple seconds a very very easy and simple to do once you have this though um again just to show you a quick example as to what i mean this is a flyer i did for a client let's drop this down there and then let's go ahead and search for our cost logo animation so if we go to our file cost jesus cost logo animation we should have right here cost logo animation it should it should look something like this it's gonna be mov file double click on it and we're gonna go ahead and drag it on top of your clip again i have an image here but you might have a video just like this one like a face cam so when you click space bar you'll have your logo on top of it with the transparent background already animated and then if you want to make sure that it's looping without ending so it just keeps looping on a 360 all you got to do is click on it and then sh uh alt click and drag it out like that so to make a, a duplicate of it so now it's just gonna go ahead and keep looping as you can see and just make as many copies as you might need now again you could have probably done this on the original one and um nest it together so merge merge them together so you have a long clip of it and then you don't have to go ahead and duplicate this on every video that you might record but if you don't want to you can also do this and again super easy and simple to do very essential to know so if you guys did enjoy please make sure to drop a like down below comment what you want to see next subscribe for new content and turn on that bell notification button you need that so again thank you guys for watching i'm out let's take a last sip and we out